Hello, my name is Paul Priestley. Welcome to Artist in School, the home of art history for young people and for interested amateurs. Today is the first in the series of brief encounters where I'm going to be looking at more obscure artists. The first one is an artist from Switzerland called Ferdinand Hordler. He's a really interesting person. Let's go and find out. Come on. Ferdinand Hodler was born in Bern in Switzerland in 1853, the youngest of six children. Unfortunately, tuberculosis killed his father and his two younger brothers by the time he was eight years old. As a result, his mother later remarried, marrying Gottlieb Schupack, a decorative painter who had five children from a previous marriage. The family was poor and at the age of nine, young Hodler was put to work helping his stepfather to paint commercial signs. Hodler's mother died when he was 13, resulting in Hodler being sent to the town of Thun to work as a, an apprentice to a local landscape painter called Ferdinand Sommer. From him he learnt the craft of copying prints of alpine landscapes to create paintings which he subsequently sold in shops for the tourist trade. In 1871, aged 18, Hurdler travelled to Geneva to study under the painter Barthelemy Men. In 1875 he went to Basel where he studied the paintings of Hans Holbein. His painting at this time was mainly of Swiss landscapes, figure compositions and portraits painting in a very vigorous, realistic style, much influenced by the French realist painter Gustave Courbet. But his paintings were also influenced by his own spiritual crises and his desire to flee from the modern industrialised society to find refuge in a more innocent, idealised sort of world. However, from 1890 his work evolved it absorbed influences from many genres, particularly symbolism and Art Nouveau. His style of painting emphasised the symmetry and rhythm that he be believed formed the basis of human society. But his paintings also had a mystical, dreamlike quality and often depicted an escape from the bourgeoisie cares of modern life. His painting Night which was exhibited in the Salon in 1890, emphasises this new style, symbolising age, solitude and contemplation. Hodler filled his canvases with simplified flat figures, often displaying the ritualised gestures and created with rhythmic and repetitive lines, forms and colours, a style he referred to as parallelism. He also painted a number of large-scale historical paintings, often with a patriotic Swiss themes. For example, in 1897 he was commissioned to paint frescoes for the weapons room at the Swiss National Museum in Zurich. But his ideas proved controversial and it was three years before he was allowed to create the frescoes themselves. In 1900, he received his first recognition when he was awarded a gold medal at the Paris World's Fair for three of his paintings, Night, Eurythmy and Day. Hurdler was married twice, but in 1908 he met Valentin Gerda Darel, who became his mistress. He was passionately in love with her, but in 1913 she was diagnosed with cancer. Hurdler spent many hours by her bedside drawing and this resulted in a remarkable series of paintings which documented her gradual decline. Hurdler was devastated by her death and spent the next year isolated, occupying himself with painting 20 very introspective self-portraits. In 1914, he condemned the shelling of Reims in France, where many civilians died as a German atrocity. In retaliation, German museums withdrew Hodler's work from their exhibitions. But in 1917, 
his health was deteriorating and at one point he considered suicide. However, although bedridden, he still managed to paint a number of views of, the G of Geneva from his balcony in the months before his death. Ferdinand Hurdler died on the 19th of May 1918 in Geneva. He was relatively unknown outside of Switzerland, Germany and Austria until quite recently. His legacy is that his work embodies the Swiss federal identity. Perhaps because many of his best known paintings feature ordinary people doing everyday jobs rather than dignitaries in their finery. As can be seen in this his famous painting, The Woodcutter. This attitude is perhaps best summed up by the fact that in 1908, the Swiss National Bank commissioned Hurdler to create two designs for their new paper currency. Controversially, he chose not to depict the images of famous men, but instead those of a simple woodcutter and a reaper instead. Both notes eventually appeared in circulation in 1911. Thank you for watching. I hope you've really enjoyed the video and found out some really interesting information about Ferdinand Hodler. If you have, please give my video a like. Please subscribe. Don't forget to click the little bell as well if you can. That'd be brilliant. And if you want to help with the making of these videos, please have a look at my Patreon channel where you can get great rewards in return for your patronage. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye!